Welcome back to limited edition, ladies and gentlemen. Today I got another last call, and this time is a challenger. Let's get started. Well, ladies and gents, I got another last call, and this time it's the challenger. This is the 2023 Challenger SRT Hellcat Red Eye Jailbreak, 807 horsepower, just like uh, just like this one. And just for the record, um, I am the only, the first dealer so far to have both the Charger and the Challenger Last Call Editions, which are both Red, red Eyes and Jailbreaks, 807 horsepower in Florida. I still haven't seen any other Dodge dealer that has any of them in stock. Uh, because usually this, it takes a little bit of time for the allocations to get down to the southern states. They kind of start up north and then trickle down. But um, there's still none out here. Uh, both of these cars are already sold. Um, this one took about a week and a half to go. This one less than 12 hours. So I figured I'd show you around this car real quick before it leaves. Um, and uh, just, just look at this thing. Just, uh, <laughs> just look how angry and mean this car is. And uh, if you want to see my thoughts about why I think Dodge is stupid for discontinuing these cars, you can watch the previous video uh, with, this, uh, with this charger. Um, I, I just think it's a terrible, 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 terrible mistake for them to stop making this stuff. But, you know, we, we, can't, we can't do anything about it. So we can enjoy them while we can. And uh, this, this particular car is finished in uh, uh, pitch black. Uh, I think one of probably the best colors, you know, we can't go wrong with black. Uh, optional black wheels, uh, red calipers, uh, this car has optional red badges. And you have to make sure that you, you, you're very careful for 23 because Dodge, again, decided to kind of screw with the nameplates. Uh, if you want the 807 horsepower jailbreaks, you have to make sure that they're red eyes. Okay, you have to make sure they're red eyes because Dodge decided to throw the jail, jailbreak name onto other Hellcats that are not actually red eyes, so they're not 807 horsepower cars. So obviously the easy way to tell that this is a red eye is by looking at the badge, you would have a little red eye in here. Well, it's kind of difficult to see here because the badge is red, uh, but that's one way. There's a badge under the hood that has a red eye and also by the color of the belt. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. I'll show you under the hood. So, um, pitch black, all the fixings here, you got optional uh, sunroof, you got the black matte uh, spoiler, and of course this car has absolutely beautiful um, red demonic interior. I think this is probably one of, the, one of the best interior colors for these cars. Really, really nice, and it still smells brand new, it's only got 14 miles. Optional Alcantara steering wheel, um, real carbon fiber accents, you have um, Alcantara uh, headliner and obviously leather dash, leather wrapped um, door panels and it's just a, just a beautiful, beautiful car. I, I personally think that, we'll talk about the, um, the Black Ghost in a second. Let me show you under the hood. I think this, this looks much better than the Black Ghost, but this is the business end, and like I said, if you look under the hood, you would have a little red eye in here. So this is how you know it's a 797 horsepower car, and then the jailbreak package pushes it to another extra 10 to 807. Um, the other thing I noticed with, the, with these jailbreaks, the, uh, the, the red eye cars, is the color of the belt. Now, I, and this is kind of my, my theory, this is what I, what I noticed, and I don't know if it's true or not, but all the cars that have 797 horsepower I noticed they have a green belt. If it's under that, under 797 horsepower has a black belt. So I imagine this is the, uh, the probably heavier duty belt to accommodate the extra 100 horses. So you know, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Of course, there's an expert for everything on, on the internet. And of course, you have your last call badge here. This one still has its protective thing on it. So that's your jewelry box right here. Unfortunately, we're not going to see the stuff anymore. So. This is your <laughs> pitch black Challenger. I think it looks absolutely amazing. And uh, I really don't understand why people would spend, you know, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 over MSRP on a uh, Black Ghost, which I think it looks absolutely stupid with that, you know, kind of, you know, get a rig emblem on, on the front. It looks like someone from AutoZone just slapped that on. Um, black Ghost has the sticker here, which is kind of mimics the vinyl top and it looks absolutely hideous. And then they have some kind of decal here 
on, on the back. I, I don't know. I just uh, I think you can spec a jailbreak a lot nicer, and you can make it a lot rarer. Make make it one of one, one of one versus you know buying these last special editions that are really you can't really spec them any other way. And I personally think that. Um, these last six editions, or however how many there are, the King Daytona, the Black Ghost, the, the, what is it, Super B, whatever, I, I think they're hideous. I mean, I, I really do. I think they really di didn't uh, kind of give it any thought. The kind of parts been special, kind of threw a bunch of crap at them, and um, I don't know. I, I personally don't like them. I think you can you can spec jail. Oh, you can't spec anything anymore. It's done. <laughs> so you can't you can't order these anymore. So whatever is out there is out there, and if you spec your car. You know the way you wanted. Congratulations. Hold on to this thing because I can guarantee you that you know you give this you know a year or two. These are going to be going through the roof. I mean, just look at Dodge Demons. Used to be able to buy them for under 100 grand. You know they're they're creeping over 200 now. So with you know obviously delivery mileage and uh, stuff like that. But um, this is kind of your quick overview of this uh, awesome Challenger. I wish I wish I had. A few extra dollars, I, I would, you know, buy a couple of them, just put them in storage, just just let them sit there, uh, because in, in a couple of years, you know, you can make bank on this 100%. I mean, this stuff is not coming back. I, I think Dodge is stupid for doing this, but hey, you know, what do I know, right? Uh, that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Peace.